What's up everyone, Nethervoid here with a new game, RimWorld, for you. It's a really awesome game, I'm super, super excited about this game. I don't know a lot about it, I've just really been trying to bone up in the last few days. I actually just heard about this game like a couple weeks ago. I talked to a developer finally, and I got a key to it to show right before it comes out on Steam. It comes out on Steam the 15th, which is just in a few days here. And I wanted to show you this game before it comes out, so you can see if you wanted to buy it, or just follow along with me and watch. Uh, this is going to be pretty fun. I think this is probably kind of a crossover between Factorio, The Sims, and Dwarf Fortress. If you know any of those games, it's kind of a mashup between all those games. Um, but it's pretty awesome. Let's get into it pretty quick. I'm going to be doing 30-minute videos of the Let's Play here. Uh, probably for at least a month. We'll just see how long we can go with this thing. So we're going to start a new colony. Let's see. New colony... Uh, there are different scenarios you can choose from. Well, actually, first of all, let's go back. Let's go back. So if you hit options right here, last names of name in game or backstory in game characters you want to see. So I put Void in here for, as a last name. I haven't seen it yet pop up. I've, I've generated a couple maps. I haven't seen it yet. But maybe we'll see it. That'd be kind of cool. I actually have not played this game before, unlike other YouTubers who have experience with other alpha versions. So this is my first one, which I think in a sense isn't all bad because... I'm going to be learning this thing really fast, and I will not go back to old ways of doing things, because to me, this is the newest, this is the only way. I've only been playing this once, right? So we're going to go with Fahrenheit here for temperature. You can change it here. Um, it comes standard to Celsius. For us American losers, Fahrenheit's what we use. I kind of like, I like the Celsius system. I like the decimal system. We don't really use that here. I, whatever. I can't really. Yeah, let's just move on. Show animal names. What? Uh, let's, I don't know that, I guess. Alright, so I've turned the music down a little bit. We'll, we'll see if we need to change that later. So you can change the names there. Let's go for New Colony. There are three different scenarios right now. Uh, Rich, Exp these, these are new, actually. And I think so is this. And Custom is all new, too. Uh, I think it used to just be Crash Landed, where you started with three survivors and you had to build from there. Um, but you can see the different setups they got, they have here, what you start out with. More silver, gold, stuff like that with this, but you only get one guy right here. Uh, this is five people, but you start out with a lot less items, and you're a, a, like your own little tribe. It's kind of cool. RimWorld is basically, if you've seen the, the show Firefly, the sci-fi, that's kind of a game based off that kind of RimWorld. Is, this is a world at the edge of like the Galactic Rim or something like that, and this is kind of an outlaw area where people can come in with sci-fi stuff, but it's generally like an Old West feel. There's no real law or anything like that. And uh, you're kind of on your own. So that's kind of the feel of the game. Which kind of tells you a little bit about the scenarios. Like the rich explorer just wants to uh, leave the Glitter World home and yearn to explore the stars and, you know, go out and, like, check some stuff out. So I'm going to pick this, actually. I want to start off with one guy. And I want to start off with a little extra resources here. So for me, the reason for that is... Uh, for one, this hasn't been done a lot. Alpha 14's, this is new with Alpha 14. I want to show new things on YouTube. Secondly, I think for, personally for me, it's going to be easier to start with one person. I don't want to have to manage three people right away. Managing one person is just easier. So I'm going to go with that. But you can customize the crap out of this thing. Uh, there's a way to scenario editor where you can just uh, random seed it and change it all around and stuff. Uh, there's the seed for this, what you start out with. You can edit it, which means you can change a bunch of stuff. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with the standard Rich Explorer. But you can do that customization if you want to. Uh, maybe I should show you that a little bit more. Randomize the seed. We're going to edit this guy. We can arrive just in standing there, not in drop pods. We can start out as a colony, not a tribe. Um, we can just do a lot, a lot of different things. Allowed age ranges, you can change that here. Start with an animal. That's kind of neat. Uh... Just things like that. So let me see if I go back, actually. I wonder if I can... Can I edit that? I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I can. So now I can just edit the Rich Explorer. And you can title your own your scenario. Things like that. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to try to make a story around this. And like I try to do with some of my Let's Plays, I'm going to give our character a backstory and a reasons why. And, you know, there's going to be some drama and things like that. So hopefully I can fit that into the series. It's harder sometimes when I'm learning the game at the same time. But we'll see. All right, so that's going to be fine. Let's just keep it like that. We'll keep it standard right out of the gate here. So we're going to go next. So these are the AI storytellers. Basically, it's how does the story advance? It can be classic, which is this is the way it's always been. And I think, I don't think these guys are new. I just think they're new-er. 
or new ish okay so you can basically set it up where no one will attack you or whatever it's really easy uh, this is like light threats with kind of like in the middle between Minecraft survival and creative rough uh, is middle ground and then uh, challenge is actually what it's meant to be played at but I'm going to go with rough because, again, I've never played this before. So extreme is like things are kicking your ass all the time. Permadeath mode is kind of neat. You can basically get one save file as well. So this is the standard, right? They've also got Phoebe Chillax, which uh, gives a lot more time between disasters. But beware, if she's set at a high challenge, she'll hit as hard as everyone else. So if you want to go a little bit more easy on yourself, you can pick that. This guy's kind of random. Some of this is really hard. Some of this is really easy. But I'm just going to go with the standard because I've never played this, so it'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to go with the Seed of Nether Void with two Vs. Uh, this is the Create World Seed. So if you want to follow along, that's it. Um, I'm going to hit Neck, Generate. I've seen this world a few times, and I kind of already know what I want to pick. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little here with the mouse wheel. Uh, hold mouse wheel to click and hold to zoom in here. And I'm going to pick... Where did I pick? I think it was... No, it wasn't this. It was something over here. I, I got a really awesome world, but basically it's mountainous. I like that. That means I can kind of make caves and stuff. That's kind of what I want. So, But it's also a forest, so there should be plenty of trees. A decent winter-summer range of temperatures here. Uh, this is good. Rainfall, stone, sandstone, slate, and granite are around good. Good, good, good. So I can also change the size of the map because this map won't grow. This is the biggest it'll get. So I'm going to go with 300 by 300. 300 by 300. Got to be careful because it, it can slow the game down. So if you go to 400 by 400 or whatever, it's going to get really slow. Um, I've seen a guy running on 300. He said it was fine. Um, I'm not sure how my machine's going to do. Maybe we should just do 275. Starting season. They usually start you with summer. I'm just going to put summer. Uh, that's a decent time to start, again, because I've never played. So I selected the site, and I'm not going to get all these biomes in the water and stuff. I'm going to get just this little square. So generating a world map, I'm not sure there's a point to that, except you get to pick kind of what uh, biome you start off in and stuff. I wonder if you can pick... What is this? Ocean? Can you actually pick that? Well, you can. Well, I'm not going to, but you can. Cool. Again, let's just pick one of these. It doesn't really matter. If you want to play on the exact same map, that's where I picked. So I'm going to hit Select Site. So now I'm going to generate my sole survivor, right? My lone gunman, kind of. Uh, you can do a lot of randomization. That's what this is. Here are the starting skills. Uh, and you want to really be careful of what you start with, in my opinion. Uh, when they have the fire next to them, it means they really like, like that thing, and they'll learn it faster, because your guys uh, basically level up as they do the things that uh, affect these skills here. Uh, health, no injuries, that's good. Incapable of, they, this person can do anything, that's good. Sometimes you'll get guys, let's just generate one. See, this guy cannot be an artist. He just doesn't like doing it. He won't do it, see? Disabled, for some reason. Also, there's a health condition here. So, they're automatically a little less healthy. That's not very good. You can also look at these traits. Trigger happy. Faulkner is a terrible shot, but he doesn't care because guns are awesome. So, he's got a negative shooting score. And his accuracy is crap. He's also a pessimist. Mood is down. That's bad. Because there are actually moods in this game. Like The Sims, I told you. You can get married. You can do a lot of... There's a lot of interaction with social skills and things like that. Which is kind of neat. So you can see in childhood was Coma Child. That's weird. Social up 5. Constru I didn't know that affected it, though. Construction minus... Okay. Minus 2. Mining minus 2. But it... Oh, he's in a human computer. Wow. And a mid-world dictator decided to employ Faulkner to, and keep track of his state's finances. So shooting up research plus seven. Wow. But art disabled. So he's also 24. So I'm going to re-roll this guy because I don't want any incapables. So we'll just... And wow, that guy's really hurt. Just got to keep... Okay, that's pretty good. Age 21, young as well. I don't want her... It's a her. Her to die too early. Wreckage explorer. Interesting. Machine collector, but probably some bad trait. Believes in human body is limited for a reason. To her, bionic body parts are unethical. Body bionic body parts are pretty good. Shooting up, that's good because again, I'll. This is my first person. She's gonna be on her own for a little while. Heat tolerant, that's also pretty good. Uh, 
but oh yeah the maximum comfortable temperature crafting that's good we want someone with good growing she only has one because we're gonna have to grow uh, food right away so that's not very good shooting is good that she can hunt well hunting right where's hunting is it in here it's not so I'm just gonna guess that she can hunt pretty well if you give her a gun melee is also good because there are knives no social skills well that sucks hmm mining low research aside that's good because there are also uh, science stuff to research in this game to unlock new things to build I'm a little picky I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe not pick her hmm that's tough cooking isn't bad construction a one because you can actually fail at construction that's new for alpha 14 as well man that doesn't look very good I think she's too too specialized there we go that's a little better male age 29 night owl stays up a lot psych psychically dull he isn't as affected by psychic pneumonia I guess that's good He's trigger happy. He's shooting down too. It doesn't matter. Shooting's at seven. Who cares? But look, shooting accuracy negative fifty percent. Oh my god. Cooking's good. Growing is good. Uh, mining doesn't matter. Uh, he cannot be an artist. Incapable. Oh no, not incapable of art. Just doesn't know anything at all. Research bad. I think we're gonna go with this guy. A, uh, he's an apocalypse survivor and he's a low wage worker so you know what he's like you know what I'm tired of working in those factories they're just human grindstones and I'm gonna go out and make it on my own in the, in, in the, on the fringe and in, in the rim worlds I'm an apocalypse survivor I know I can do this so this guy's he I think I think uh, we're gonna change his name though uh, let's change it to let's give him a generic name Dave kind of a generic name Dave Harry Dave Compromont. Oh no, this is the character short. This is like his nickname, okay? We'll call this guy. Uh. Hmm. Street Kid. That's his nickname. Street Kid. That's what he grew up as his nickname because he's an apocalypse survivor. His family was basically wiped out. He lived on the streets a lot and basically got odd jobs but he's like you know what I'm gonna go to the rim world I can do it he tried out for some for uh, some special forces army crap they didn't take him because he's got kind of a he's uh he's a little trigger happy so uh, he said you know what I can do this on my own let's change his last name too, to void I'll just add it in there sweet view information about this object oh neat you can see all the kinds of stuff Mental break threshold. Oh, yeah, your dudes can have mental breakdowns and stuff. They start killing things or destroying things. It's weird. All right, cool. Cool. David Street Kid Void. What's this? Rename. Oh, okay. Well, what? It already was, but okay. All right, that's cool. Sweet. So that's it. That's why you look at the stats for this guy. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna kick this thing off. Okay, so basically what happened right there is Fraps does not like when you ch generate maps sometimes. So Fraps died, which means it sucks to be us. I lost the character, but it doesn't really matter. I generated the map the exact same way. I came up with a different character. Uh, Street Kid, still the same nickname and everything. We'll talk about the backstory again in a second here. So the neuro simulations, hollow games, and free f free orgies were never enough for you. That would be enough for me, I'm telling you right now. You wanted more, as opposed to, I guess, paid towards, I don't know. You wanted more. Free wasn't good enough. Maybe they needed to pay you. The grit and the consequence of real life, like they talk about in the history books. You wanted to know what a real challenge and consequence feel like. Now, after a journey of decades in crypto sleep, wouldn't it be cryo sleep? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Because crypto would be like you were, cryptography means, um, encrypting things so like crypto sleep would be encrypted sleep anyway you're landing on this unknown rim world real consequences await you so the backstory for and I'm gonna pause it so you can see boom we crash land right here we're not crash land actually whoa I have a 
dog? Sweet. So let's look at Street Kid here. Let's look at character. This should tell us. Okay, yeah. Nikki Street Kid Void. 15 years old. That's it. Already she has an adulthood job, though. I'm not sure how. They must... Child, you know, child labor laws are different on her home world. She was a child spy. Even though she's still a child. But whatever. Uh, that means shooting plus five and research minus three. You can see her research is dog crap. Children are often presumed innocent and can be idealist spies. Nikki got around shooting people and dignitaries and making and getting away. And she was used by the military, so she became a military commissar. Internal spy master in an Imperial Army battalion made sure that the men were loyal and did not fall back unless ordered. This made her unpopular, but she gained great skill at detecting the slightest dishonesty. So what happened is her men grabbed her up one day, tired of her shenanigans, and just sent her off to be marooned on this planet, on this rim world. So again, shooting plus three, that's awesome. Her shooting is crazy, okay? Animals, that's good, because I think she has a pet, so we, I don't know why they would ship her with her dog. Uh, medicine, not very good. She's okay cook. She likes to construction. That's awesome, because we have a lot of that. She likes mining. That's also good. We're going to do tons of that. Uh, she's not good at research. That sucks. She's an optimist, though. She knows she can make it here. She is steadfast in her ways. She will not mentally break. She also believes... She does not believe in bionic body parts. So that's our, our person here. I think that's actually a better character. That's kind of cool. So I paused it right here. You can see. You can speed up time or pause, whatever you need to do. Uh, we need to toggle the military draft. Drafted people take orders and fight. Uh, why do I need this? I don't think I do. But we've landed with a bunch of supplies. You can see they're here on the ground. But right now she can't touch them because they have this X. So I'm going to probably release a video on how to freaking start playing this game. Because you need to know, if you double click this, it selects all of this, I think, in the area. Which is what we're going to want. Oh, man. Okay, I know. First of all, we're going to look at need to look at where we want to build our base. This is definitely not the one I started on when I was doing a test. You can see this is the, large, the extent of the map. It will not get bigger than this. you got to work with what you got here. So, that kind of sucks for us. But I think... Is this fertile ground? Oh, it's rich soil. So, you can grow plants there a lot better. We need to look at where we want to make our base. Usually, you don't want to make your base, as far as I've found, far from where you crash-landed all your junk, because you have to move it. Is this fertile... No, it's just soil. Regular fertility. Ooh! I think we can build stuff, or we can grow stuff there. Maybe we can make our base right here while we'll two entrances. Although that's harder to defend. We want kind of one entrance. Here would be not bad, but it's right over the fertile ground. Kind of don't like that we'll have multiple places to defend. Oops, hit the mic. Sorry about that. We can make it here. That's not bad. That's kind of a far walk to get to the food, though. I mean, for the, for the starters, anyway. Might be easier to defend, though. Just, like, box that off and make it, make that our little room. Our little starter thing. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, I've double-clicked these. Right now, she can't interact with them. So, let's allow that. Obviously, med kits, we're all gonna, also going to do that. I think we saw some silver. We're going to want to let her move that. Steel, which is good. We can get more, but we need to mine it, I think. Uh, components, these are like ship components. You need that for kind of complicated stuff. Charge rifle, we can select her and have her pick that up. Equip that. Uh, I think that's all the stuff we... Cr oh, no, here's some wood. Pick that up as well. That's okay. So we kind of want to get everything set up before we start. We could actually make that our home. Mm, it's not really too bad over there. That's kind of far to walk with all their stuff to begin with. But I don't. I think that's probably a better spot. Because there's really nothing over here I care about right now anyway. I don't know a lot about the game. I definitely care about fertile soil. So I think we're going to make this our little shelter. And we can kind of mine out some compact steel without anybody caring. Sweet. So that's all the stuff we can pick up. She's going to immediately equip that. Let's unpause a little bit here just by pushing the space bar. She's going to grab the gun. That's good. Uh, we're also going to want to tell her to craft a wall here. 
Is that fertile soil as well? It is. Oh, no. Fertility is bad. When does it start? Okay, right about there. So we can build maybe a wall right here. Here, so let's do this. We're going to go to structures, wall, right click, wooden wall, because we have tons of, well, we don't have tons. We have mostly wood right now. We're going to, no, I don't like that. We're going to cancel that. Cancel that construction. I just want to do it right along there. It's more wood, though. Not a lot. One more thing, that's it. So we'll build wood all across here, and then we're going to make a wooden door so I can get in and out. I think I'm going to put my power down here. I think. Let me look. Yeah, the fertility's bad. So I'll put I'll put my power down here, which means my battery and stuff will probably be over here, which means I want my door probably here-ish. Storage, maybe there, and bed there. Okay, so let's go back to architecting, structure, wooden door. I don't know. Right there is probably okay. Now we have to set up some zones. Like, where are we going to put stuff? So I, I'm going to build one general stockpile area. I'm going to build it, like, pretty much right here. And then I'm going to build another one inside. There's a reason I'm doing this. So I, there's there's two of them now. You kind of can't see it, but if you, like, click on the storage area, you can see stockpile zone one. You can click storage, and it you can tell it what to, you can put here and what not. I'm going to allow everything. So this is a general storage area. It can be used for anything. So I'm going to rename this as well. Uh, there's a way to rename it. How do I do? Oh, rename right there. Duh. I'm going to call this general storage. And you know me. I'm, all, I'm very picky with what I do. So let's click this guy. This is going to be called uh, in-home storage. Okay. And then... For this, I'm going to clear everything. I'm only going to allow packaged food for now. So that's the only thing she'll keep inside for now. Um, I was thinking about putting gold and silver in there, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So, you know, people don't steal it. But I don't think for now it's that big of a deal. I'm also going to set up a grow area. Let's actually allow her to start moving stuff. Um, let's set her... Let's do manual priority here. She'll fight fires first. Do doctor stuff first. Let's see. Go into a medical bed for treatment. Put out a fire. Treat sick people. Rest in the bed. Don't, you know, we don't want her working overtime during the night. Flick the switches. Like, turn off lights and stuff. Warden is for when you have prisoners. We don't care. Handle, I think this is pets. Oh, okay. Uh, hunt, three, three. Construction, we're going to put that as a two for now. Grow will be a three... Mining a three. I think growing can be a two. We'll put construction as a one for now because we really need her to roast to build our, our house really quickly. Then we're gonna say hauling. That's moving stuff like to our storage area. We're gonna say hauling is a two and growing is a three right now. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna we're gonna let her start. She'll probably start building stuff first. So let's also set up a bed space for her. So I think furniture-wise, I would normally put a bed, like, back here. But it's 35 steel, and I don't start out with... Well, let's see how much steel we start out with. So she's walking over here with some wood, probably to get going on construction. Oh, well, is that steel? No, that's silver. I don't know how much steel we have. It, I'm not sure if it's hard to get or not. So I'm just going to go with a sleeping area. So you can see they build over time here. That's kind of neat. We're going to go with a bed area. Sleeping spot. Now I think I can... Oh yeah, I can turn these with these. I think I'll just put it back here for now. You can also set up a zone for the dog. Which would probably be a good idea. Zone. We can set up a grow area. Let's just set it for right here. 5x5. Five five. Well, let's check to make sure the soil is good. It doesn't tell me now. Let's just delete it. Nope. See, it ends there. But it's good here. Let's do a 5x5 five five starting there. So we'll do a grow zone. Like right here, 5x5. Five five. 
So now if you look at it, we're planting potatoes. So I heard strawberries are good because you don't have to cook them, but you need a minimum growing skill of five. So what I'm going to do, and actually let's see if you, it'll tell you that. Harvestable limited lifespan, fragile but tasty fruit. Uh, okay, so there's different fertility requirements. That's good. Lifespan, only eight days. So that's not going to last us through winter times, basically, what that's saying. Uh, okay. So no, it doesn't tell you if you need to cook it or not. Okay, so let's go to, let's go to Street Kid here. And let's see what her, her growing is, too. So she can't do that. She'll probably have to do potatoes, I think. But let's look at potatoes. A simple, highly nutritious tuber. Grows well, even on blah, blah, blah. Harvests quickly, a strong, versatile crop. Last nine days. Nutrition's the same, so I don't... Okay. It seems the same. Screw it, grow potatoes. Zoe! She's two years old. She's wandering around. Let's give you a zone, because I don't want you wandering all over the place. Expand a loud area. Expand home area? Stockpile? Um, I can't remember how to do this. So she's, she's sowing some potato seeds right now. Expand home area. Let's just do... Colonists repair buildings, clean floors, and extinguish fires only in the home area. So why don't... Oh, okay, that's the home area. So why don't we expand it to here? And then we're going to set... I, well, I think we can set... Ah, there we go. Zoe Husky can only go in the home area. That's good. Oh, manage areas. That's cool. Okay. Neat. Neat. So, uh, looks like we're doing pretty well. We've got our little structure set up. Really need to prioritize hauling, because we need to move all that junk over here. Um, why don't we do that? We're almost out of time here. we got a couple more minutes. Let's do, well, crafting, hauling. Um, I think that's enough little dudes for now. She's going to go haul now. It takes a long time is why I want that. And, and I don't want anybody to grab our crap. Plus, these are, you start out with some meals. You can see these are like packaged survival meals. I want to get those in my house. Oh, you can pick this up too. That's fine. Pick up the gold. Is there anything else with X's? I don't think so. I don't know why it would start out like that. It should start the other way around, in my opinion, but that's okay. Ooh, we have some bushes over here. We can like pick the fruit off these, I think. Nice, you can. That's awesome, in case our stuff's not grown up in time. So I, I think there's actually, yeah, there's steel way up here from kind of touching down, right? Okay, so eventually we're going to want to harvest some compact steel. There's got some extra here. You can see she's dumping it in the uh, kind of holding area here. We're also going to want to set up um, a power source. We can build a solar panel right away. It says we don't have sealed components. That's because we haven't moved them to the storage area. Once they're in a storage area, we'll be fine. But we're going to basically stop here. I pretty much showed you the basics of how to play this game. That better not be crap. Zoe, you pooping in there? Okay, I think that's nothing. Unowned? Owner, nobody. Uh, can you change that? Weird. I wonder if I can do this. Sometimes you can select a guy and right-click. To control colonists directly for, for combat, draft them by selecting them and cl clicking the draft button. Okay. Great. Undraft. Does that mean she's not going to do anything else now? Oh, yeah. she's Yeah, undraft. She's just going to shoot people. So we, she's got some gear as well. We're get, definitely going to be over the time soon. Starts off with synth, synth red t-shirt and pants. Cool. Did he do anything? Armor. Okay, there's a little bit of armor involved. That's good. Needs. This is where you can see she needs food, but she's going to go get some right now. Her mood's doing really well. She's kind of hungry, but she's going to get... When she gets food packets, we'll be good to go. Please bring some back now. In fact, why don't we... Why don't we tell her these are off limits for now? 
just get food packets. You're hungry. Don't pick up wood. Don't pick up anything else. Just get the food packets, okay, kid? That's funny, because that's actually her name, kid. So, get those food packets. She will not eat them unless she's picked them up. So anyway, that's going to do it for episode one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like this series, please like and share it. It really helps, especially on the first episode of, of, a, of a new series because that helps the search engine. So that's just kind of the way YouTube works. If you're new here, please subscribe. I will be doing a lot more of this game, and I do other games, Hearts of Iron 4, other building games and, stu and stuff. I actually have a Factorio season that's not too old now, actually. I think a month, maybe a month and a half. Uh, definitely subscribe. Would love to see you around. Put in the comment section if you're a new subscriber and i will see you next time on the second episode and stay frosty